fish. Fish as far as the eye can see. But I know the question that all of you ask day in and day out. The burning question that keeps you up all night. What are fish? Well, to put simply, a fish is any animal that lives in the water, has gills, and lacks limbs with digits. Now the first animals that could be classified as fish were the soft-bodied chordates that first appeared during the Cambrian age. And even though they lack the true spine, they possess notochords, a material that's similar to cartilage, which allowed them to be a bit more agile than their invertebrate counterparts. But our friend the fish has evolved quite a bit over the last 540 million years, exploding into about 27,300 different species. All kinds of colors, shapes, sizes, diets, and temperaments. The largest fish on earth is the whale shark, which can grow to be more than 50 feet in length and weigh several tons. The smallest fish is the midget dwarf goby, which only grows to one centimeter in length and it's definitely not enough to satisfy my voracious appetite for seafood. Their lifespans vary too, considering which species we're talking about. Some live for only a few weeks, while there are some that live up in excess of a hundred years. The most primitive fish alive today is the agnatha, which include hagfish and lamprey. These animals never developed a biting jaw and are slimy bottom feeders, no I'm not insulting them, and are long and eel-like. Fish breathe by means of highly vascularized tissues known as gills. As water passes over the gill membranes, the fish absorb the water's oxygen content. Gills contain a network of fine blood vessels that take up oxygen and diffuse it throughout the membranes. Now brace yourselves, because there are a wide variety of species of fish that have evolved the ability to breathe atmospheric air. For example, the walking catfish. These are a species of freshwater, air-breathing catfish that are native to Southeast Asia, so named for its ability to walk across dry land to find food or a better place to live. So why did the fish cross the road? Insert stupid punchline here. Now humans love fish. How do I know? Because we eat tons of them all throughout recorded history. We fry them, bake them, eat them raw, serve them in all kinds of ways. 2009, which is the last available data on the subject, Americans alone consumed roughly 4.8 billion tons of seafood. I don't think you heard me, so I will say it again. 4.8 billion tons with fish pigs. And because of that, fish contribute greatly to the global economy. Let me give you an example. Let's talk about tuna, just tuna. The value of tuna to the global economy was calculated for the first time in 2016. And according to the first assessment, its value is $42 billion annually to the global economy. Which, by the way, is more than the gross national product of 108 of the world's countries. So yeah, big bucks. But that's all for me today, Reapers. If you enjoyed this video, please check out some of the other episodes in this series. Like, share, subscribe, and comment because we would love to hear from you. And those interactions really help our community grow. And as always, please geek responsibly.